Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we're going to be comparing and contrasting belt motors to hub motors. You may have seen belts on boards such as the boosted board, the evolved skateboards, and you might have seen hub motors on boards such as the Inertion Raptor 2 or Chinese clone boards. So today we're going to be talking about the differences between the two and which one is a better product. Okay so now we're going to talk about what constitutes each system starting with a belt drive system. This thing we have is a motor which is a satellite motor. These motors generally range um, from 150 kV to 270 kV, and the most common types are 5065, 5055s, 6355s, and 6374s. The motor is mounted to the trucks using a motor mount. This is one of the many options that fits a caliber style truck. Next, there is a wheel pulley, which goes into the type of wheel that you're using, whether it's a Kegel core or an ABEC core. There is also a motor pulley that goes over the shaft of the motor. Finally, there is a belt. This goes between the two pulleys to transfer the torque from the motor to the wheel. So as you can see, there's a lot of moving parts in a belt drive system. Next, we have a hub motor system, which is much more simple. It's just simply a truck that is specific to the hub motors and then the hub motors themselves. The motors are inside the wheel, so there's no drivetrain or anything. It's just the motor straight up into the wheel, and it's much more simple. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to compare and contrast belt versus hub so you'll know which option is best for you. So starting with the first point, which is wheel customizability, you can use all sorts of wheels such as Kegels, clones, all terrains if you wanted, all, any basically any wheel you wanted you could use. Next point is thicker urethane, which kind of plays onto that. Since it's not a sleeve surrounding a motor, the thick urethane is thicker. There's also more torque typically on a belt drive system. As you can see in this demo, our belt board destroyed this hub motor board. Next is speed flexibility. You can easily change the gearing on your board just by swapping out the gears or the wheel size and change your speed. Next is that it's just overall more custom. You can change your motor rounds, your trucks, anything you like. A belt drive board is more customizable. For hub motors, however, they are much more cheaper than a belt drive system. It's just the motor and the trucks, no belts or anything, which is kind of the next point, which is less maintenance. A belt drive system is a lot of maintenance. You have to make sure that the tensions are right and all that stuff, which is kind of the next point, which is that it is a more reliable system. As you can see, um, belts snap a lot. This is one of our belts that snaps just trying to go up a hill. So um, having hub motors, a lot less can go wrong. And the next point is stealth. Hub motors are stealthy, they're sleek, you can barely see them unless you know um, that it is an electric board. So here you have it. This is our list um, comparing and contrasting belt motors and hub motors. Hopefully this video will help you make a decision around which one is better. If you have any other ideas, drop them down in the comment section below. We'd love to see what you think and also you can help other people out by doing that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe and like if you did in fact like it. On a side note, there's a survey that we've created that you can find in our bio, and it's just asking whether or not we should create a store where we, where we sell some pre-built boards or parts that you guys might enjoy. If you'd like to fill that out, that would be great for us. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching.